Hello and welcome to another Smelly Cat Creations video. Um, I've been a bit slow at getting another video out, so I apologise for that. Um, <clears throat> I've been pretty busy with getting stuff done in the background of Smelly Cat Creations. Um, <clears throat> I've been working on some new product ranges, ideas, and also the workshop is in a right mess from waiting to be insulated, and the garage is also in a mess. So. Um, I've been I've been working on that in the background, but I, I am gonna plan to get back to making some more YouTube videos of making some products. But this um this video is just a quick one, which is a bit different from uh, my usual making videos. This one is just a sort of a small business uh, video and payment transaction fee video. Obviously, with um, COVID that's been going on. A lot of people have been working from home or they've also been trying to start up their own businesses. There's a lot of people out there now trying to create their own small home business. Um, I've also obviously been working on trying to make Smelly Cat official and with its own payment system and turning it into a more substantial daily business. Um, so along with that, what I want to talk to you about here today was transaction fees and payment merchants so if we jump across to the screen here everybody knows PayPal most of you out there will have a have a PayPal account use PayPal it's um you know I've had a PayPal account since as long as they've been around used to do a lot of selling on eBay um, and I, I was getting into Etsy, started to sell on Etsy. Um, but what I've moved, I've now completely moved away from that. Uh, a couple of months ago, I had an issue with PayPal where for no reason at all, well, no, no reason as far as they could see when after investigating, my account was seized. Um, they seized my account, they seized all payments in my account and they put a six month lock on it and said that they would need to look into the transactions and I couldn't have the money back for up to six months. They also told me that I would no longer be welcome to use PayPal again. I was banned from using PayPal. Uh, all this came as quite a shock uh, from just opening an email in the morning and finding I could no longer use PayPal. And this then got me into a bit of a panic because it wasn't such a personal thing that it bothered me on, even though it's... <coughs> I use PayPal a lot for personal eBay purchases. I was more bothered going forward with uh, Smelly Cat Creations. How was I going to get my payments and how was I going to sell things uh, for Smelly Cat? So I did get hold of PayPal. I spoke to the Irish call centre. The man was very helpful, very kind, and he told me there was nothing he could do about it. He said he's looked at my he looked at my transactions in my account. He said as far as he can see, he can't see any reason what any why it's been blocked. He could, it looks all fine to him. Uh, after a bit of begging, shall we say, uh, I managed to get him to talk to the team that are actually responsible for it in the background, and they came back and told me that it basically was just a system error. They said, I think it's just a system error. You were wrongly flagged up, and here you can have your account back. So that was a bit of a change from being told I was no longer welcome to use PayPal and seizing my money to, oh, it was just a system error. Here, have it back. Uh, which made me decide I no longer wanted to use PayPal as my primary payment revenue um, merchant. They can seize your account at any point for any reason of their own and let's face it PayPal is always on the uh, it's always on the purchaser's side it's always on the buyer's side it's not on the seller's side um, most of these platforms work towards helping the uh, the purchaser the buyer they're not great for the seller so what we can see here is our PayPal screen PayPal's standard costs for selling on places like eBay etc is 2.9% plus the fixed fee. The fixed fee, so I believe, where is it? UK, UK, 30p. I think it used to be 20p, it's now 30p. 
So no matter what the price of the transaction is, even if it's a two pounds item, they're going to take the 30p and then they're going to take 2.9% also of the, of the transaction fee. Um, so they're not the cheapest when it comes to, to transaction rates and fees, especially when you start putting a fixed fee on low transaction costs. So I did some research, decided I didn't want to use them anymore, even though I've got my account back. And I looked at this place. I looked at this company called Summer. They seem to fit in with everything I wanted to be doing. So with Sum Up, it's completely free. Uh, this isn't a sponsored video, by the way, but there will be a referral link in the uh, description if you want to use Sum Up, and that would help me out for making future videos, etc. So with Sum Up, they do. They can take card payments. Let me just grab this. So what we've got here. I've got my card reader that links links to the app on the phone also takes contactless payments or they can use their chip and pin so I can go in the top of the card reader um, that's all by Bluetooth charging port on the bottom so you've got your card reader and you can take card payments so if you're doing little market stalls or you're doing craft fairs you can take card payments from people for your sales and they're only going to be taking 1.69% um, transaction fee against your card payments. So that's a very low fee. Uh, it's a good fee. I've tested it on my own, on one of my own cards. I just wanted to check out the chip and pin and the contact has worked. So I tested that. That all went through fine. So you've got the option for the card reader there. But more importantly, you've got an invoice system that you can send out invoices to customers here so you've got the invoices and they take 2.5 percent transaction fee for invoices but and there's no fixed rate fee so you're not paying that 30p per transaction you're just paying 2.5 percent um, against the, the, the value of your invoice it also offers you lots of other options like you can send out payment links you can sell gift cards so if you're a jewelry maker etc you can do gift cards for people to give out at christmas birthdays and they can then come and buy jewelry from you there's qr qr codes that you can give out even for donations so i'm possibly going to add a donations qr code to try and help fund the channel some more that might be in the future who knows uh, but let's move over to the actual page of sum up so i've just registered this is just a a temporary test one that I've set up just to show you. So I've set mine up as a sole trader. Uh, that's obviously what I'm trading as, just under a sole trader. Money calculations at this stage is not a limited company. Um, in the future, it may move over to a limited company, but for now, it's all going under sole trader. So these are the details you need to fill out. So obviously. In here, I just had some many calculations, uh, type of business, services, I think I've got mine down as, or other the retail. Um, put in your details, save and continue. And then what you get once you've finished all this is you've got your dashboard. Your dashboard, when you come into here, it will tell you here how much you've made, how much you've done in invoices this month, um, where your average sales are. So your sales page, this would normally show you all the sales that have gone out. Um, so mine would normally just show all the invoices and the payments I've taken from them. Payouts. So uh, with Sum Up, you have two options. You can either have it transfer the money out to your bank account, or you can have it transfer the money to a Sum Up card. Uh, Sum Up card is completely free, doesn't cost you anything have one somewhere but I don't know where so there you go you get sent a you get sent a sum up MasterCard um, you can you, rather than have the money go out to your bank you can have it sent to the sum up MasterCard and then that will just stay on the sum up card until you spend it or at any point in time you can come in 
you can click transfer the money from my sum up card to my bank account and that's completely free it doesn't cost you anything it will then pay out to your bank account and you can also set the time period that you want the payments to be paid out at so you can have you can have them pay you out daily which is what i have mine set at they'll pay you out daily send the money over daily weekly or monthly i have it daily they pay out no problems they send you an email to say this is how much we paid out today that you've received job done you've got you'll have your reports that you can come in and check different things and now another option that i was very interested in was sum up um, and there's many other there it's some up isn't the only one there's there's many merchants out there that will offer very similar features to this this was just the one that i decided i want to go with um <clears throat> you can have my products so basically sum up will give you a free online store where you can send people the links and they can go and buy your the products from your online store and that'll all then go back through your sum up account and they will use their same low transaction fee because I was using Etsy um, and I was absolutely shocked at how much Etsy take from every sale, every transaction. You know, I was I was selling um, items for like 20, 20, 20 pounds plus <clears throat> two pound fifty postage and I was getting about 19 pounds in return. Some people might think that's not bad, but to, I thought that was disgusting, especially when considering some of that was actually postage and packaging so they were taking the money from the postage and packaging as well i know ebay do this but I, I think the fees were too high considering etsy wasn't actually bringing me much traffic um anyway so i've now shut down all my sales on etsy they, they no longer i've taken every product off of etsy and I'm, I'm starting very slowly to move items over to the sum up online shop which also offers you options to later upgrade. This is the sort of basic store you're going to get. So as the basic store that's completely free, here's each product you see. You'd only actually get one picture per product on the free store. But if, if you want to upgrade the store, there is a monthly fee. And I won't do that at the moment. But if, if I start getting a fairly decent amount of sales, I will... Um, I will upgrade. I think the first upgrade is something like twelve pounds a month, but then you get some SEO included with your store, you know, multiple uh, images per item. So I do believe that is something that in the future I will end up moving across to. Uh, these aren't highlighted here because I haven't put any products in, but I like the idea of having the store. And then you've got. So the refer a friend, this is what I'll put my link up for. So this isn't my this isn't my link, don't use that. I will put my link up if you want to use it. And here's the card readers you can have. So as you can see, I've just got the basic one, the air card reader. It's the cheapest, most basic reader. I didn't see the point in upgrade in having one of these expensive ones. Um, if you do a lot of markets, stalls, a lot of craft fairs maybe it might you might you know you might prefer to have this one that gives out a receipt as well and it's got its own 3g so you don't have to pair it to your phone you don't have to have bluetooth it to your phone you can take the the payments independently without having your phone mine you need the phone as well <clears throat> to put the card payment in but being able to take the card payments is is a, is a good option to have there and basically, yeah, so this is this is my way, the way I'm moving forward. You can, if you think this might suit you, you can choose. If you can drive the traffic to your shop yourself through Instagram, now TikTok, you can help use that. If you've got your link on your Linktree account, um, if, you can, if you can get the traffic driven to your own shop on, like, on, on a platform such as SumUp, you're going to be paying much lower transaction fees. You, you're not going to have to keep giving out your money to companies such as Etsy um, and all of these big corporate companies you got you know obviously since lockdown we, we've we've been we've all been buying a lot more from places like Amazon as I've said before you know Amazon Jeff Bezos richest man in the world one point one hundred and thirty six billion pounds he's worth one hundred and thirty six billion pounds and yet 
I love Amazon. Half of his staff in his warehouses on zero hour contracts and they, they struggle to get their payments, their wages. Who's benefit? The big bosses benefit. So I want to promote people to support small businesses and also follow your dream. You know, all I've ever wanted to do was run my own business and to, to do my own thing. And I'm not getting any younger and I've never taken that leap. It's very hard to try and take that leap when you've got mortgage, you've got bills to pay, but I'm not getting any younger. And I, when I go to my deathbed, I, I want to be able to say I at least tried. Even if I fail, I, want, I need to try just, just for my own satisfaction. So if you've got a dream, have a dream, set a path, work towards it. You know, you, you can do something that you really enjoy doing, that you love doing, and you can tr try and make your living and your income from that. You, you don't have to just be putting all your money into the pockets of the 1% wealthy. Um, I'd love people to go out there and to try and do what they love more rather than just, just sticking to being a sheep because that's what the world wants. I want you to be a sheep, follow the instructions, pay your bills. Whereas you could be, a, you can be a maker, make your own products. Let's support each other. Let's and support small businesses and move things forward that way. So this was just a quick video on the payment system. Um, take a look at some up if you like the sound of it. Uh, I will be doing some more making soon. Got some branding irons I need to get out there making today. So I um, will be posting them up later on my Instagram. And uh, appreciate all the new followers that have come forward uh, since I've got some new subscribers, obviously, since the interview with the beard. Uh, that was uh, that was really good. And uh, yeah, if in the comments, add anything that you'd like me to make a video on. Obviously, there's the laser in, there's the CNC routing. I try to do a bit of everything. I like to be able to do everything. That doesn't always work well with customers. Customers, I find often, they just like you to say, this is what I make, this is how much it is, and then yes or no. Whereas when you say, I'll make you anything, well, it, it, it becomes a bit more confusing. So, yeah, I had made this video before, by the way, a couple of weeks ago, and my microphone wasn't turned on, and I have had to start again. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you all again soon. And just, just keep doing what you do, do what you love, and support other makers and other small businesses. And together, we can help each other. Right, take care.